Hello everyone and welcome back to Neptune's Child Tarot. My name is Monique and this is my second tarot channel here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for your continued love and support on the channel. Those of you that are wanting to book a private reading, you can find my email down below in the description box. Just send me an email and I will provide you on more information on booking readings as well as other services that I do provide. Um, those of you that are new, welcome. I'd also encourage you to check out my main tarot channel, Moon Moth Goddess, where I do have a bunch of other figure card readings um, posted into playlists for you guys as well. So today's picker card reading, we are getting guidance from a spirit. Okay, so this is really going to can be about anything that spirit is wanting to talk to you about today. So if you feel like more than one pile is what you're feeling drawn to, then go based off of whatever your intuition is telling you for today's um, reading. But we do have how light for pile one, pink agate for pile two, and then a blue agate for pile number three. But I'm going to be adding in, I guess that's card number one. <laughs> we have the nightingale spirit and it says love is all around. And let's pull a card for pile two. What messages does spirit have for you today? What is your guidance? Okay, so pile two, we have the flamingo spirit and it says embrace the in-between. And let's do for pile three with the blue agate. What is your guidance from spirit today? And we have the bobcat and it says life is a mystery. Okay, so pile one, we have a nightingale spirit, love is all around, and we have the white... How light for pile number one. Pile number two, you are going to be the flamingo spirit. Embrace the in-between and we have pink agate. Pile number three, we have the bobcat with the blue agate. So as I said, go with whatever your gut feeling is telling you if you feel drawn to a specific animal or the color of the crystal whatever you want to do today for your messages pile one with the nightingale pile two with the flamingo pile number three with the bobcat timestamps are down below and i will see you guys at your reading hi pile one so those of you that resonated with the nightingale spirit love is all around with the how light this is going to be your reading today so we're going to find out what the tarot says as your message today what messages spirit has for you at this time what type of guidance are you needing to hear Pile number one let's see what is your message for today what guidance does spirit have for you? Okay, so we have the tower and the page of swords. This looks like unexpected or some, yeah, some type of unexpected news or message. Uh, communication from someone could be an air sign. We have judgment. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be some type of message coming in for you. With judgment here, it makes me feel like it's going to be very unexpected. You might have to make some type of choice or decision here. A big decision feels like with the judgment card. We have the four. Okay, this is maybe about a house for some of you. Some of you it has to do with family. Family, loved ones, friends, people that are close to you could even be, have to do with a relationship. Those of you that are in a commitment here. News, messages. Let's see. The Queen of Cups. Oh, okay. Well, maybe for some of you, I don't know. I, I'm getting different things here. The page can also represent a child. So maybe for some of you that are old enough, it could be news or message from a child. If you have a child, if you have a child. Um, it can also be, um, maybe with the queen of cups, some of you, it could be a mom. Others of you, I'm seeing this potentially as someone who is expressing some type of feelings towards you. Okay. Unexpected communication. 
Um, and if you are, let's just say you're at, you're in a breakup with somebody or a separation, and you've been wanting to hear from somebody that can even be from someone who's unexpectedly communicating with you. I mean, you do have the nightingale here. It says love is all around. So someone, maybe for some of you could be um, expressing heart or feelings. Let's see some emotions here. Some of you, it's going to be information, news. Um, I feel like something that will make you happy. This feels like primarily good news. Okay. Let's see what else. What messages? What guidance? We have the emperor. Some of you, I'm getting a father. A father here. Yeah, some of you I'm getting like a parent, a parent communication or some of you I'm getting a child, mother, father, some of you it's a, a partner. Hmm. We have this star. Okay. Yeah, so that message may not resonate for all of you, but that is definitely one that's coming through here. Let's see what else. We have the Four of Pentacles. Let's see what else. Nine of Swords in Reverse. Okay, so whatever this is, I don't, I don't know. There's there's news, there's message, there's communication here. I'm seeing for some of you it's a relationship. Some of you it's a child or a parent. Um, but with the Nine of Swords energy in reverse, I'm feeling like whatever this is, Spirit is wanting you to not... It almost makes me feel like this news or message about it, like don't stress out about it, is basically the message I feel like that Spirit's saying. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. Uh, with the Nine of Swords energy in reverse, I'm feeling like maybe if you are someone who has a tendency to get very anxious, very <laughs> anxious about things and over get in your head, overthink, overanalyzing, I'm feeling like spirits wanting to just kind of be calm, at peace, at ease. Okay, so the other message that I'm kind of seeing coming through here is spirit wanting you to pay attention to opportunities. Um around you surrounding you as another message that's coming through here because the four of cups can sometimes be when we are in a place of boredom or you know we're wanting to kind of change something here in our life or you know some type of decision I'm feeling for some of you and it's like spirits wanting you to pay attention to messages that they're giving to you your spirit guides ancestors I'm feeling here as well. Some of you, I'm feeling there's going to be some type of opportunity here that you're going to have. And, I'm, and for some of you, I'm feeling it's a house. A house. Um, I don't know for some of you, this is moving in with family or something about the family. That's kind of what I'm seeing. I want to see what this Four of Cups energy is here. Why is the Four of Cups here? We do have Aquarius energy here as well. Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio. Uh, there's also, what is this? Uh, Aries, yeah, Aries energy. Uh, Gemini. Capricorn. We also have Pisces. Pisces and uh, Cancer. Let's see. Somebody might literally, for some of you, somebody might literally be calling you because they're feeling a little bit down, a little, a little sad. And that won't be for all of you, but that's like a specific message. I feel like this person's like maybe trying to look to you for um, guidance, <laughs> funny guidance. Um, yeah. Okay, why is the Four of Cups here? 
We have the Knight of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Okay. Another message that's coming in through here. For some of you, there's somebody, like I said, some of you, this could be someone from the past, um, like an ex-partner, potentially somebody who is wanting to reconcile here. Um, for some of you, it can even be a friend, okay? A friend, um, an old friend. Hmm. Some of you, I'm feeling there's a message here about you making some type of move surrounding a job. Okay. Some of you maybe have waiting for news. Like if you've been sending out like, um, like, uh, applications waiting to hear news about uh, getting a job. Okay. I'm feeling that you're going to be receiving some type of opportunity here. Because I'm seeing the star here. This is about being some type of wish being fulfilled. Some of you are really wanting or waiting for a message about a job or career change. You've been feeling a little, maybe feeling a little bit uh, discouraged by it. Some of you are needing to take action towards, uh, I'm feeling a change of job, change of house. Maybe some of you are planning like, maybe I should move. Maybe I should get a new job. Um... Yeah, it's, if some of you are either having the feeling like I'm not happy at my job, I want something different, I want to change, um, is kind of what I'm getting here as well. Okay, so let's go into the Oracle and see what else is coming through here. Yeah, but some of you, I feel like there's, there's going to be good news coming in here with the Page of Swords. You're going to have to make some type of choice or decision here. And I feel like Spirit's saying, do what your heart is really telling you with this. Trust that you're making the right choice, the right decision. Don't miss out on an opportunity because of fear, because of anxiety. Okay? Look at the bigger picture of, of what is being offered or what, what, what is possible for you with this, with this change for some of you. Okay, pile number one, Spirit. What messages are they needing to hear? What guidance are they needing at this time for pile number one? It's like being open to the opportunity, right? Seeing the bigger picture of things. Okay, we have a parrot spirit here and it says, watch your words. <laughs> watch your words and bring a gentle touch. Okay, so those of you that are hearing from like a child or a parent, this is Spirit saying here, watch your words. Watch your words. So maybe if you are someone who gets irritated, <laughs> irritated easily or gets triggered, it's like keeping your own energy in balance, like choosing to respond rather than react. Keep your cool, basically, like bring a gentle touch to the situation, whatever this is. Some of you that watch your words can even be talking about uh, your inner dialogue, you know, because the four of cups, we can feel really bummed out. We can feel really sad. Uh, things are not going our way. We get super low. We feel low. So this is kind of maybe watching the way that you talk to yourself, your negative self-talk, right? Being more gentle, being more kind to yourself, I feel like. Okay. Not losing hope. Let's see what else. We have magic works through you with the scarab beetle spirit. Magic works through you. So I'm feeling a lot about you keeping your energy in balance. We also have the turtle spirit here and it says slow and steady wins the race. Okay. So I'm feeling whatever this is, whatever choices, decisions, actions, things that you're thinking about at this time is like spirit wanting you to really take some time to think through them because with this nine of swords in reverse, this is about us letting go of anxiety, fears, worrying, stressing. Um, so yeah, we've got the hawk spirit at the bottom. Let spirit be your guide. Okay. This to me is also kind of like very knight of pentacles energy. Um, being committed to what it is that your goal is or what it is that you're working towards. And staying committed, right? Staying committed to, to, to it. Magic works through you, which also to me is kind of like you being the powerful manifester that you are. You have the ability to create. You know, don't lose hope. 
you know, even if let's just say those of you that have tried, like you've sent out a bunch of applications for jobs or trying to, even for like a house, like you're, you're trying to see, am I going to get approved for this house? You know, I'm feeling like there's good news coming for you with some of you. I feel like maybe it's, it's, you know, not getting let down when you feel like one door isn't opening for you. Try another door. There's other opportunities that are out there. Okay. So let's see what else. What other messages is Pile 1 needing to hear today? We have a win-win forecast, or I'm sorry, a win-win outcome is forecast, okay? So something's happening in your favor, okay? Something is happening in your favor, and that's kind of what it feels like. A time for healing. A time for healing. So maybe for some of you, it's surrounding yourself, right, with people that you love, that love you, that are supportive, that are kind. We have the full moon in Pisces with forgive. Okay, so maybe spirits also, for some of you, wanting to work on your healing. Okay, forgiving, releasing any energy that's out of alignment for you or that's keeping you out of alignment. We have practice gratitude. Okay, so four of cups energy, like I said, it can really put us kind of like down in the dumps where we're just like, we're not happy. We're not happy and we're not seeing the beauty of life around us. All we can focus on is the negative. You know, so that may also why Bay Spirit is saying here, watch your words. Be grateful for what you do have, you know, in your life uh, at this time. Okay. So let's get some more here. What messages is Pal 1 needing to hear at this time? What guidance? We have a fiery climax approach. So yeah, this makes me feel like something exciting here some kind of news some kind of message we've got a win-win outcome as forecast maybe this is like a culmination of things for some of you i want to see what this is what is this fiery climax for pile uh one the world Maybe for some of you it is, traveling, moving. Some of you there's something that's a cycle that's coming to an end. Some type of achievement for some of you, coming full circle. Seven of Cups is a card of choices, options. Maybe for some of you feeling confused about something and that confusion is something that's finally coming to an end. You finally figure it out. Whatever this is, there's some type of uh, resolution or solution here. The Ace of Cups, that's an opportunity. Okay, some of you it's love. Some of you it is maybe some type of creative opportunity. I'm seeing the High Priestess at the bottom. Spirit saying here, trust your intuition. It's an opportunity for some type of new beginning. Some of you literally could be... <laughs> You know, like I said, reconnecting with someone, hearing news from someone who has or expressing feelings towards you. Let's see here, pile number one. What messages, guidance are you needing at this time? Wisdom. We have celestial. And we have hope. Yeah. With this energy here, I feel like... And I'm seeing this beautiful door down here, adventure. This makes me feel like there's a new door that's opening up for you. I almost want to see, like, what's behind the door. Some of you, like I said, it is love. What's behind the door? But with the celestial energy here, and I'm also seeing there's, like, a little key here. Opportunity. I'm, I'm kind of feeling with that. It's like Spirit saying, don't forget your, your connection to Source, to God, to Spirit, to Universe, and knowing that you have the support, right, of the celestial light beings, Spirit, God, Universe. Don't lose hope. 
right? With wisdom here. Maybe this is also for some of you looking back to, right? The very important lessons that you've learned as you've been going through maybe some challenging cycles. But I love this, this door here, adventure. And that's like a new chapter here, especially with the world. Why is this adventure here? What is this door, spirit? What is this door for pile number one? And maybe for some of you, healing is something that's helping you to get to, you know, this next chapter. Why is the adventure here, spirit? What is this door leading to for pile number one? Three of Swords, healing for some of you, healing. Two of Swords, some type of choice or decision. Again, look at our Knight of Pentacles here. I feel like for many of you, it's something that you're working towards here. Maybe for some of you, it's like a long-term goal that you have and finally being clear about what the steps that you're being guided to take. Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you are changing from or out of this place of lack or scarcity mentality mindset, the feeling of despair and moving into an energy. This next chapter in a way, this door is leading you towards stability, security, no longer having this feeling of lack or emptiness or void, but to kind of going through this door here and being led and guided towards something that is bringing in beautiful, beautiful energy for you. Many of you, it is a new career, a long-term relationship or commitment connection. Some of you, it's feeling a lot more. This next phase, I feel like through this door, is leading you towards financial abundance, security, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful energy. So that is all that I have for you, pile number one. I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile two. So those of you that resonated with the flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between and the pink agate. This is going to be a reading. So with the card that you chose, embrace the in-between, some of you could potentially be going through some type of transition. Um... You know, one job to a new job, changing career paths, moving away from a relationship into a new one, you know, maybe even some type of like a crossroads or something like that. Okay. But Spirit is saying embrace the in-between, meaning be present, right? Be present here and now, you know, not focused on the past and not so much... I mean, yes, thinking about the future, but not living completely in the future where you're spacey all day and you're not grounded and you're not focusing on what needs to be done or get done in the present moment, right? Spirit saying embrace the in-between, embrace this place that you're in right now, okay? Honor this, this stage that you're in. Let's see, pile two. What is your guidance? today for this reading spirit pile number two what guidance are they needing to hear at this time for pile two what guidance are they needing to hear pile two we have the fool look at that the fool is about a new beginning a new start clean slate a leap of faith let's see to what message are they needing to hear at this time the five of swords okay hmm. five of swords can be some type of conflict maybe a decision maybe some of you are feeling conflicted about making a decision feeling challenged with this decision hmm. the five of swords can also be about a lot of self-sabotaging thoughts Maybe for some of you, you're contemplating some type of leap of faith and maybe your own thoughts are kind of holding you back in a way. And then in that case, I feel like your message is go, <laughs> go, 
ready, go with the full. <laughs> um, let's see. We have the six of swords. Yes, look at that transition right there. Some type of movement, some type of progress. Maybe for some of you, you're moving away from something. Let's see. Queen of Pentacles. Some of you, it is a commitment, whether it's romantic or a job. Some type of commitment here. Maybe some of you are contemplating a move of some kind. Let's see. What is Pal 2's guidance? The moon can be a lot of fears, doubts, uncertainty, things being maybe you're unsure, right, about what the future holds. The tower, some of this is a huge change, a huge change that you're going through, a huge shift for you. You're releasing something or letting something go, or maybe even the contemplation around it. And again, I'm going back to the fool, spirit saying, go. <laughs> do let's go um, go for it right we have the sun yes yeah, so this is a positive change okay a positive change with the sun card here this is a card of uh, an achievement something that you're accomplishing here um, the three of wands you're planning for the future there's a lot of anticipation in the three of wands energy a lot of waiting a lot of um Waiting for something to come in. Waiting for something. <laughs> something. Something's coming. Something's happening here. Let's see. Four of Wands. Okay. Okay. So maybe for some of you it is, like I said, there's some commitment here. Whether that commitment is your job, a relationship. Hmm. Some of you can even be changing house with that there. And I'm seeing the seven of wands at the bottom. This is spirit basically as your guidance. I feel like looking at this energy is don't back down. Don't back down. Even though right now, whatever this shift or this change is that you're making right now, seems like it's a little daunting. There's uncertainty. There's fears. Is things Are things going to work out? Is everything going to be okay? Um... I feel like you're moving into a place or an, a, an energy of harmony, of balance, um, whatever this is, job, getting out of a relationship, you know, into a different place in your life, but being present, right, in the here and the now, honoring this stage, this change that's happening, this transition, but yeah, seven of wands is about adversity and about us overcoming the obstacles, not backing down. Our decision is our decision. That's it. <laughs> it's like we're moving forward with this energy here of the seven of wands. You know, it's a little kind of defensive. It's kind of like you, you stand your ground in the place that the decision that you've made, you know, and, and don't go back to whatever this is like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do it now because it's not time yet. Or maybe I should hold on and wait, you know, to this job that I don't like or this relationship that I'm not happy in. This is spirit saying, don't, <laughs> don't do it. Queen of Wands energy. It's like you being in your power here. You got this. You got this pile too. You're a new beginning here. Yeah, so don't let the, the fears, the worries, the seven of swords here and the devil. You know, this could be your mind in a way. Sometimes our mind plays tricks on us, right? Our ego gets in the way. Doubts, fears, insecurity sets in, the feeling of being trapped, stuck. We're not stuck. It's an illusion. Okay, so step into your Queen of Wands. I got this. Powerful energy. And don't back down from whatever this is. Move forward, full force. Okay, but like Spirit is saying here, embrace, embrace this place that you're in right now. Okay, there's always something to learn, even if... It is we're going through a transition or some type of change. Honor it, right? It's part of your life. Okay, so let's pull some more of these little spirit animal cards. Uh, what do we have here? We've got some strong Leo. We've got Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius. 
uh, yeah, Aquarius energy. We've also got Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Mm, Aries. We have the pig spirit. Use your mind wisely, right? So it makes me feel like a lot of your focus right now, like spirit wanting you to just kind of like nail it down. What's the vision? What's the plan? What are we doing? What are we creating? Use your mind wisely, not for anxiety and stress and fears and insecurities and all kinds of that other stuff, right? Let's use the mental energy for, for something valuable. It's normal, yes, to have fears, but grounding yourself. I feel like we've got brown bear spirit with take time out. Okay. So maybe some of you are through this place right now. There's a lot going on with the tower. Maybe this is for you to take a rest, take a break. Okay. You're preparing or you already have taken some type of a leap of faith for some of you. Now with the three of wands, we've set something, you set something into motion here with the three of wands. You've taken a first step, some of you first with something, a step in a new direction. And now it's kind of like, okay, let's take a pause here for a second. What's the next step? <laughs> That's where you're needing. Maybe some of you are needing the pause. Okay. Like, especially with the, the seven of swords that we saw, it's a lot of scattered thinking, a lot of hurry up and rush. And let's like ground ourselves here for a second, just to pause. What are we doing? Right. Let's focus and be present. I feel like in this moment. Pile. Go outside today, pile too. Go outside. Is what I'm hearing for spirit. Go go for a walk or walk around the block. Spend some time in nature. We have whale spirit and it says trust the great mystery. Someone needs to go outside. Hawk spirit. Let spirit be your guide. Okay. So to me, this is trusting in the unknown, right? We're taking a leap in that full energy and we don't know where we're being led or guided sometimes. We're just trusting our intuition and just going for it, right? So let spirit be your guide. Trust in the great mystery. It's, it's kind of like taking that first step. And now we're going because our intuition is guiding us through these changes or some transition. Needing to trust the universe before it makes sense sometimes, right? We feel the pull into a certain direction and we need to trust that. Being more in tune with your own intuition. It's a beautiful thing. Pile number two, let's see. A time for healing. Maybe some of you are needing to take a little bit of a pause, a rest for healing, you know. We have luck is on your side with new moon in Sagittarius. We've got new energies coming in here for pile two. We have speak your world into being. So some of you, this is a powerful time for you to maybe take a pause and during this space right now, some of you are in this transition, so now it's time to create, right? Some of you, like I said, have taken that first step, okay? Three of Wands is about foresight, planning ahead, thinking ahead. What do you dream? What do you envision at this time? Speak that into existence, okay? Whether it's about money, love, you know, letting spirit know, I'm grateful for these blessings that I have in my life now. I'm grateful for what I'm about to receive. Maybe it's the love that I'm going to receive or the blessings and abundance, the new opportunities for career. Okay. Let's see here. For pile two spirit, for pile two. We have pushed through any insecurity. Push through it. That seven of wands with that queen of wands holding the wands. Push through it. 
Let's see. What else? Her pile number two spirit. What guidance are they needing at this time? This feels like a really, really beautiful, beautiful transition for you, pile two. We have the answers you need are coming. A personal issue reaches resolution. So something, yeah, clearly. And then we also have, it's time to release negativity. Okay, and that can even go into negative thinking, right? Negative thinking. Let it go. And let's trust that the universe has your back. Spirit has your back. We have breathe through the tension. Yeah, look at that beautiful outside. Kind of looks like Sedona. All the red rock. Breathe through the tension. Hmm. Yeah, breathe through, push through. You know, taking a rest, taking a time out. Let's see, pile number two. We have relax. Yeah, so there's a lot that Spirit's just saying. Take a pause right now. Take a pause. She's sitting down. Looks like, looks like she's reading a book. Maybe some of you are in, in some in need for self-care. We have divinity, which is beautiful. Divinity is about you recognizing the divine with inside of yourself, your spiritual self. You know, your connection to source. Maybe if some of you are needing to take that pause so that you can feel spirit's energy with you. You know, especially if you're feeling anxious and you know, I'm feeling it for you, like I said earlier, go outside, grounding, so you can feel reconnected into source, your divinity. Right? Many, some of you, it's reconnecting with yourself, your own spiritual self that you're needing at this time. Almost like your soul is saying, pay attention to me. <laughs> pay attention to me. I need love too. You know, needs attention. Your spiritual self needs attention. And then we have authentic here. And tranquility. Again, this other message here about peace. Restoring harmony, I feel like, for some of you. Authentic. And I feel like for, for many of this authentic energy, it's about you restoring the natural balance with inside of yourself. Okay, so I'm going to leave your reading here for you, pile number two. I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile three. So those of you that resonate with the Bobcat spirit, life is a mystery, and the blue agate, this is going to be a reading. So we're going to pull your tarot first and find out what guidance you are needing to hear at this time. Number three. Okay, so we have the moon, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Let's see for pile number three spirit, what guidance are they needing to hear at this time? We have the Nine of Cups. Of the Ace of Cups. Nine of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so we have new beginnings here with the Aces, Ace of Pentacles, and Ace of Cups. Queen of Cups. We 
have the Hierophant. Page of Pentacles. Okay, some of you, I'm getting that there is, I, I'm getting two different messages here. Um, one of you, someone out there, is someone out there watching this pile, um, there is some type of wish fulfillment coming in for you. And I feel like it's something that's hidden from you and is going to be revealed to you. It's something you're feeling anxious about. Some of you, I'm getting that this is a job offer. A job offer. Mm-hmm. A job offer. Some of you, this is about love. Okay, a new opportunity for love. And I'm feeling like this could be even a connection that leads to something serious for you. But some of you, I'm getting this energy here about a raise for some of you, or even um, a job offer that's even giving you more money. I'm seeing the death card at the bottom. So this is some type of uh, um, an ending, maybe for some of you, to allow for some type of new beginning. There's a change here with the death card, transformation. And for many of you, I'm feeling that there are, some of you are being given a position that's making more money. It could even be going into some type of management or executive level is what I'm getting for some of you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> some type of offer here with the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Hierophant energy. Some of you are receiving some type of message or news about some type of uh, raise or uh, an offer for a new job. It's going to offer you some type of new start. It's going to be something that's making you very happy. Okay. Some of you, I feel like this does have to do with love. A new opportunity for love coming in for something solid and tangible. This is Spirit saying it is going to bring you in happiness. Some of you are feeling this sense of accomplishment from this achievement, like you've worked hard um, for this. Okay, so I'm getting that here as well. What else am I seeing here? Hmm. Some of you, I'm getting that there's a lot of fears right now. A lot of fears and worries, doubts about how something is kind of playing out for you. But some of you, I'm getting there's this opportunity for a new beginning here. Some of you can even be a new uh, car, a new house, a new home to live in. Okay. Some type of new start there. And it feels like because you guys chose the Bobcat spirit with life is a mystery. And I'm seeing the nine of swords here, which is about anxiety. And anxiety is about our future. We're worried about future, something that hasn't happened yet. And with the Nine of Cups energy being here, this is wish fulfillment. This is something that brings us in happiness, abundance, contentment. Something that does bring in joy, you know, a reason to, to feel happy, um, grateful, blessed in some way for something that's, that's being made available to you, an opportunity. Okay, so many of you, if you kind of feel like doubt, feeling doubts, you know, uncertainty because you don't, things are not clear, I feel like, with the moon energy. You could be feeling a, a little bit confused, but there's something here that's being revealed to you, and I feel like it's definitely something very beautiful. We've got Taurus energy here, Leo, uh, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorp Scorpio, and... Pisces. There's also Gemini. Gemini energy. Okay. So let's... Is that all? Mm. Some of you could even be starting a new creative project. Working on something new. Okay, so let's see the, the oracle for pile number three. Pile number three, Spirit, what guidance is pile number three needing at this time? We have the seahorse, look at that, it says watch and wait. 
Watch and wait. Pile number three. Yeah, the aces in the tarot are about new beginnings. We have the dog spirit. Be loyal to what you love. Be loyal to what you love. And I'm seeing the sun, the 19 here, the 19 on the dog. And the sun is about happiness, blessings, abundance, success, achievements. And I feel like Spirit's saying as long as you are guided, right, by doing what you love, going after what you love, listening to your heart, you're, that's where you'll find happiness. It's like seeing as the blessings kind of unfold into your life, the opportunities that are available. Koala spirit, it says spirit has a plan. Spirit has a plan and it says wasp spirit, sometimes life stings. This makes me feel like some of you, there's a reason to feel anxious or worried or nervous and this is Spirit saying, you know, sometimes things are not great. Sometimes we are challenged or we feel like we're going through a very challenging cycle. But I feel like this is definitely improvements that are kind of coming in here uh, for you. Let's see. What guidance is pile number three needing at this time? Emotions are running high. Maybe some of you are really like worried or nervous about something, feeling emotional about things. We have your dreams need a practical plan. So maybe for some of you, it's about disciplining yourself as, at this time or getting organized, planning, strategy, focus. Okay. We have take a reality check with the full moon and Capricorn. <laughs> okay. So we're saying we need a reality check here. Okay. So really working on grounding yourself, grounding your energy. Okay. Taking a look maybe at current circumstances that are going on in your life at this time. So you can kind of think clearly about your decisions, your choices, and how you're moving forward. Pile 3 Spirit, what messages is Pile 3 needing at this time? Push through any insecurity. You know, we're seeing the Nine of Swords energy there, so it is a lot of worrying, stressing, anxiety, um... The moon brings in a lot of fears and insecurities. You know, we have go wild with the full moon in Leo. Go wild. Um, maybe for some of you it is about being uh, strong, courageous, you know, in your power with moving towards things that you're creating. We have be bold and make the first move. Maybe some of you this is a call to take some kind of action. Okay, we have assess the situation. Assess the situation, right? And then we have shine with Leo. So lots of Leo energy that's kind of coming through. It's almost like I feel like Spirit's wanting you to kind of be the best version of yourself at this time. Pile number three. I almost want to see kind of like what you're needing the reality check with. Maybe some of you don't know what it is. Let's see. Pile number three. We have beautiful. 
Blossom. Whoa. We have Rejoice. And this one, White Light. Hmm. I feel like for some of you, this is like envisioning or surrounding yourself in a beautiful white light, you know, of protection, of healing, of whatever it is you are calling into your life at this time. Maybe it's peace. Maybe it's tranquility. Maybe it's a reduction in stress or, you know, spirit surrounding you in love. Um, Security. I'm feeling a lot of it is you envisioning here with the white light. Because this looks like... I forget what these things are called. It's like a little glass. Isn't it like... Um, I think it starts with the C. I don't even know how to pronounce it. C-L-O-C-H-E, maybe? I don't know if that's the right word or not, but I've seen these before where they're like a decorative type of thing where you put things inside of it. This little dome, clear dome, glass dome. But with the white light here to me, if you look at it inside of there, it's beautiful. There's a moon, there's trees, there's stars. So to me, it's you envisioning yourself and surrounding yourself in a beautiful white light. We have rejoice here. So maybe for some of you, it's, you know, shifting into an energy of optimism, positivity, uh, away from negative thinking. I'm feeling kind of like the power of, of now. I want to see, and I feel like with the blossom and beautiful here, like I said, I feel like spirit's saying here, be... Being the best version of self. What is this white light here? What is the white light? There it is. Protection. It says you are your own keeper and protector. You are alone. You alone are responsible for warding off and deflecting negative lower energies in your vicinity. Before you enter a situation or if you are defending yourself against a psychic attack, Request to be surrounded by divine white light. Summon your guides, angels, and archangels to surround you while coming to your aid. Envision yourself encompassed by the white light. Breathe it in fully and fill yourself with its protective energy. Breathe out, release all negativity and lower energies. Ask that the white light purify and cleanse your mind, body, and soul. Thank your divine light, angels, and guides. Uh, the intention says, keep strong and stay rooted. Protect your own well-being, including your mind, body, and soul. Block out all the negative energy and just love. Okay. So I do want to see this reality check. So what is Pile 3 needing a reality check about? What is Pile 3 needing a reality check for some of you with this energy here, dispelling negative energies, it almost makes me feel like if you, you know, sometimes we hold on to negative energy, you know, we are the negative energy sometimes when we're with our thoughts. Um, so maybe it's like, is there a certain reason for some of you that you're feeling a certain way? Let's see here. What is the reality check that pile number three is needing? The Ace of Wands. Seven of Wands. And the Wheel of Fortune. And I'm seeing the Six of Swords at the bottom. So I'm feeling this is for some of you that go through these times in your life where you're feeling challenged and the seven of wands and it makes me feel like spirit is wanting you to have a reality check about your strength your own strength your inner strength that you have within you to be able to push past any obstacles 
Because with the Wheel of Fortune, this is about the cycles of life. It's about a turning point in our life, about changes, and also about us going with the flow. You know? So in any way, is there something within your energy that is keeping you stuck for some of you? You know, whether that be negative self-talk, self-limiting beliefs, self-sabotaging types of behaviors. Okay? And some of you may even be needing to set boundaries with certain people and remove yourself away from maybe some of you toxic situations, toxic people. You know, I feel like spirit is, is saying here also with the Ace of Wands, this can be inspiration, create a creative spark, you know, an idea that you have that you want to move forward with. And I feel like spirit's saying, even though there may be obstacles in front of you, it doesn't mean that you don't have the power to be able to move through any difficult energies to get to where you need to be, to align with your destiny. Okay. For some of you. So that is all that I have for you. Pile number three. I do hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading.